Okay. We're here with Liz Hoffman, a senior on the South Dakota women's swimming and diving team. L talk about the 2011-12 season. And Liz, let's talk about what's uh, ahead for the Coyotes. What are kind of you know the expectations for the team this year? I've got pretty high expectations that we have a great group of freshmen that came in. Um, we have a lot of potential this year. I'd say out of the past uh, th you know, three years since I've been here this year, I really feel like we have the potential to win a lot of meets and to do really well at conference. Uh, how's the, the uh, preseason practices workouts been going and how is that going to help the team for the season? It's been great. Practices have been super intense. We started the first week with hard practices. We got in the water, we got in the weight room, and we just started working hard. And um, it's been great. The team's kept up that work ethic. Everyone's been working really hard, and I feel like we've got a lot of good practices under our belt. Uh, as far as goals, what are some of the team's goals, and uh, what would you, how would you see the team, uh, you know, attaining those goals? Um, as for our long-term goals, we really want to perform well at conference, and obviously that's every team's goal. Um, but aside from that, we really want to have a winning season this year, so win a majority of our swim meets and just work really hard. You know, have a good start in every race, finish every race. Um, come to practice focused, uh, come to meets ready to perform. Um, there's a lot of little things that add up, uh, all in all getting us to that final conference meet. We're here with Thad Stoddard, a senior on the South Dakota men's swimming and diving team, to talk about the 2011-12 season for the Coyotes. Uh, Thad, as a senior, what, uh, what is the outlook for the upcoming season for the Coyotes? I think it's going to be great. Uh, the, the men's team, the past three years, uh, I believe this is probably the best freshman class we've had since my class when I mean, we have like eight or nine freshmen and they all seem pretty solid and working hard we're kind of as I say as seniors we're just trying to lead them through and show them the ropes and kind of bring them into season real smooth. Uh, talk about the preseason workouts practices how, how they've been going for the team so far. I think this year is probably the hardest we've had as for swimming and then lifting like we got after it the first week usually we kind of ease into it but this year we got in and just got some hard work done and I think we're right where we need to be and we'll be set up to do well in our, for the rest of our season. Uh, what are the goals for the year and, and how, do, how does the team go about attaining those goals? I think one of our biggest goals is to beat SCSU in our dual meets and at conference and I think that's very attainable with the set of freshmen we have as I mentioned before and I think if everybody does what they need to do I think we'll have a great season. We are here with Jason Mahold, the swimming and diving coach at the University of South Dakota in his seventh season. Uh, talking about the Coyotes and their 2011-2012 season. Uh, Jason, let's talk a little bit about how practices and preseason workouts have been going. What's kind of your assessment of where the team is at so far? We started off pretty hard this year. Um, we started off early season with a lot of weight training. Um, a lot of our kids came with a lot of work over the summer. Uh, and I would say we probably hit it the hardest we've hit it in the beginning of the year with our water workouts. Uh, we've got a very talented group of young kids and our freshmen. Kids who have a lot of base coming in, they, they could kind of handle a little bit more of a workload in the beginning than maybe some years past. So we kind of came out of the gate swinging. Uh, I, we've kind of really started to turn into more speed work here coming into our first meet uh, this coming weekend here against North Dakota and St. Cloud. Um, but we've definitely, I think, started off with the intensity that, that we wanted to start off the season with. Uh, now we hopefully can maintain that and get better throughout the rest of the season. Let's talk about the women's team. Obviously, uh, a, a good senior group coming back, some good, uh, talented individuals. What's kind of your assessment of that group so far? You know, on the women's side, we've, we're, we're, we're young and old at the same time. Uh, you know, we've got a, a great group of senior women going out and a really good group of uh, freshman women coming in. Um, and hopefully it works out in our favor that those senior women can really kind of show the ropes to some of those freshmen. Um, you know, the freshman class we have is probably our first, what I would say, true Division One class where the kids we're recruiting are, are looking to make NCAAs and looking to make Olympic trials, that type of stuff. Um, so our senior leadership, I think, will play a big role on the women's side of, of helping lead those younger kids through. Uh, with that said, they're a very talented group from top to bottom. Uh, we don't really have a weak spot this year. You know, in years past, we may have had an event or two that might have been a little bit weaker. This year, we're pretty much solid from, from top to bottom. Um, all the strokes are covered, all the distance is covered. So it's a very deep team, uh, which I think will come into big play um, at the conference championships in February. We're also very top heavy too. We've got Liz Hoffman, um, we've got a freshman Corey Wanamaker who's gonna be a big, M, big impact player, uh, along with uh, Paige Stavely, Ryan Anderson. So we've got the girls that can win the events too. Uh, 
uh, along with the depth. So it, it makes us a pretty uh, a deadly combination for us to have. Uh, let's talk about the men's team. Obviously a good senior group coming back there, and uh, I know you're excited about the, the incoming group as well. Let's talk about maybe what you see from that group so far. You know, it's it's the same story almost on, on the men's side. we got another big freshman class and a very big outgoing senior class. Uh, you know, the senior class on the men's side this year is by far the most talented class we've ever had come through. Uh, with Terry Rolf, that's daughter, Dane Van Arco, those kids are, are just huge for us. Uh, I think we'll see a lot of records fall on the men's side. I, I think we'll see a couple trial cuts on the men's side. Um, but I think it's the same story. We're pretty deep, um, you know, from top to bottom. You know, if we have any weak spots, it would be um, diving for us. Uh, we do have Chris House, our senior diver, he's our, our only male diver. Um, other than that, I mean, we're pretty solid top to bottom. Okay. What uh, what would you see overall? What would you like to see out of the two teams as far as goals or accomplishments maybe throughout the year? What what are kind of are you looking for there? You know, we always circle STSU on the on the calendar. Um, and anyone tells you if they don't, they're lying to you. You know, that's always a big goal of ours is to, to get up and compete against those guys. Uh, and to have another strong showing at the Summer League Championships. This is our this will be our third year in the Summer League Championships. Um, we've been third on the women's side and fourth on the men's side the last two years, and we'd really like to improve on that. And this is a year I think we can do it. I think for us to move, to move up on both sides, to be in the top three on both sides is attainable. Um, you know, we've got a lot of work to do yet, but I think that's kind of our overall goal is to put both of those teams in the top three.